Hi, um, in the name of Yahweh, our Savior, our Father, who art in heaven, Yahshua, his right arm, and their Holy Spirit. So, um, this is video seven. It's around 11 o'clock in the morning on February 13th, 2022. It's a Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. So, I think it's time now to tell you... Um, what Steve says about me in his head. So, first off, to give you a little background, um, I talk to my television screen, which is a weird thing to do. Um, I guess you can see that television screen now. Um, and I talk to it. There's nobody there. You can see it's a blank screen. But I talk to it a lot. And I do that especially in Shabbat. I start Shabbat Friday night and I continue it Sunday. I've been doing that for about uh, five years, I think, since March of 2015. I've been doing Shabbat. Oh, I guess that's like seven years. <laughs> I'm not good with years. <laughs> um, remember that story I told you about that guy that was a boss? I saw him when I went to the store, Alexis Neon Plaza. I said that was 30 years ago. About That was more like 40 years ago instead of 30 years ago. I wasn't in my 30s. I was much younger than that. <clears throat> with the story with Ilsa, and I said, no, this is what happened, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm not very good with years. So I just want to tell you that um, I talked to that television screen, that blank television screen, especially Shabbat. I start uh, Friday night Shabbat, and then I continue it Saturday. So I also do Shabbat. Um, and I talk to it. And I started talking to it about the time of the Charbonneau Commission here in Montreal. There was a Charbonneau Commission here in Montreal um, looking into corruption in the city of Montreal. Oh, don't tell me. Corruption in the city of Montreal? No. It's not possible. So I went there, and I sat in the audience for a little bit, and I'm actually wearing that dress when I went to the Charbonneau Commission. And after I left the Charbonneau Commission, and they have, like, these police officers, and they have, like, a little area where you actually have to go through a turnstile, I guess it was, something like that, so they check you to make sure you're safe to go into the Charbonneau Commission to sit in the audience, because it's an actual... It's a hearing, basically, to find out about corruption in the city of Montreal. So I don't know how we got on the subject, but I start freaking out. And I start saying, and he's got a wand, and he's going over my body, and he's touching my body. with it's, It feels like a, a wand, a magic wand. And I'm just freaking out, and I'm talking about my experience as a targeted individual. To the police officers, they were two lady police officers. So, long story short, after that happened, for some reason I started talking to my television screen, especially during Shabbat. So this went on for a while, uh, about a year or so, I guess. I don't know, I'm not good with time, you know. And... Steve usually stayed very quiet, never said anything. And the things that I put in these little videos, basically the kind of things I would say to the television screen, right? And I would just talk and talk and talk and talk. Now, lately, I would say, especially this past Shabbat that we just had, February 11th, uh, 12th of 2022, I didn't say much, except for one one point where I was watching a video of Dr. Missler, and Dr. Missler is all mystified, and he's saying, I, I don't understand why Yahshua says this, and Jesus, I think he calls him Jesus, he says, I don't understand why Jesus says this, but he says, uh, the time, no one knows, only the Father knows, the Son doesn't know either, you know, that sort of thing, the angels don't know, and nobody knows, only the Father knows, and then Dr. Missler is surprised that he's saying, I don't understand, because uh, Yahshua said, the Father and I are one, so how is it that he doesn't know? 
Well, <laughs> he doesn't know because Yahshua is not Yahweh. He's not Yahweh. And that's why he doesn't know. So I was saying, and I, I stopped the video and I start talking to the television screen. And I'm getting upset because I, from the time I started talking to the television screen, I was saying, listen, it's Yahweh, 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 because it's Yahweh. And yesterday, like I'm upset that Dr. Missler doesn't get this. And I'm saying, when you pray, you pray to Yahweh. Yahshua sits to the right of the throne of Yahweh on his own throne. But when you pray front and center, it's Yahweh. It's not Yahshua. When I pray, I do the cross, right? Because I can only approach Yahweh, our Father who art in heaven, our Savior, through the cross of Yahshua. There's no other way to approach him. And Yahshua even says, if you try to get up there around me, you're a robber and a thief, and it doesn't work. So, Yahshua is like an ice cube compared to our father, Yahweh, who is like an iceberg. They're the same, but incomparable. So, Yahshua is our Messiah, he's our Christ, but Yahweh is our Savior. And you, to really start to understand Yahshua, to really start to understand Yahweh, you have to know this. It's Yahweh 101, okay? So I watch these videos and they're like all about Yahshua and like they don't even mention Yahweh. They don't say a word about him. And I'm telling you, it's all about Yahweh. And that's why I start these videos for you. I start these videos for you. In the name of our Father, our Savior, Yahweh, His right arm, Yahshua, and their Holy Spirit. So I'm telling you that Yahshua is Yahweh's right arm, and he even refers to his son as his right arm. So everything that Yahshua did and said up until the time of the cross, okay, that's all Yahweh, the will of Yahweh that Yahshua agreed with. And that's why he did it. He agreed with it. At the time of the cross, the crucifixion, Yahweh had to abandon, abandon his son because we've abandoned Yahweh. And it was all Yahshua, all Yahshua's will at that point. And we'll talk more about that huh, another time. Yahshua is our Christ. He's, he was made our Christ after he died on the cross for us. He wasn't our Christ before. He had to die on the cross for us to become our Christ. He wasn't the Messiah until he died on the cross. He was his purpose and his mission. He was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the 144,000. But to become our Christ, to become our Messiah, to become our leader, he had to die on the cross. He had to do it. He had to go through with it. That's why you, as one of the 144,000, as one of the chosen, you have to behave correctly or else you'll be dropped. If you don't treat people with respect, if you don't treat people well, you will be dropped. A simple, full stop. And someone else will take your place. Someone else, as Yahshua tells you in the letter to Philadelphia, hold on to your crown, hold on to what you have, your crown, or your crown will be taken from you. Okay, he says something along those lines. Okay. So now I have to tell you what Steve interrupts at times when I'm talking during Shabbat and I'm talking to my blank television screen and sometimes he just interrupts and he says things. So I have to tell you what he says. Let me just say first and foremost, Steve and I do not have a good relationship. 
yes we do no we don't have a good relationship and when he pops up really like do me a favor and anyways I do have to tell you what he says so at some point I don't know how many years ago maybe three years ago I couldn't tell you four years ago I don't know how long ago um, it was just after the Charbonneau Commission uh, that I was starting to talk to my television screen, my blank television screen, that um, he popped up and he said something. Now, I'm going to paraphrase because I don't remember exactly what he said or how he started this. But he started to... Uh, <clears throat> he started to say things like, uh, I was Mary, um, Yahshua's mother. And he said, um, I was Eve, Yahshua's wife, as Adam. He said that I was Daniel. And this is not all dropped on me, my head all at once or all together. He just drops these little things here and there once in a while, like months will go by, weeks will go by before he adds something, you know, that sort of thing. So long story short, he's saying that I was Eve. I was the wife of Adam. I was then the mother of Yahshua. Then he's like saying I was Daniel. He said, I was Jacob Israel. He's saying, uh, who else did he say? Oh, I was John the Beloved. And that John the Beloved, you know, was the disciple that was uh, truly loved most by Yahshua. And that as John the Beloved somehow married, his mother was involved. So that through John the Beloved, Mary... His mother was actually having conversations with Yahshua, and it's because it's actually Yahshua's wife. Um, this is embarrassing to talk like this because it's weird, right? Um, then he said, uh, who else? Oh, yeah, and he said I was uh, also Joan of Arc. Now, when I first became a targeted individual uh, in 2013, they told me right off the bat in my head that I was Joan of Arc. And, you know, excuse me, I was kind of like messing back with them. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, uh, oh, that's why I'm afraid of fire, that sort of thing. I, I didn't take any of this seriously. So... <clears throat> When I'm talking to people in the television screen where I started a couple of years ago, uh, and all of a sudden Steve pops up and says out of my mouth, oh, uh, Marianne, this individual, this person that you see sitting here on this couch that you are viewing through this television screen, this was Eve. This was the wife of Adam. This was Mary, the mother of Yahshua. This was Jacob, who became Israel. This was Daniel. This was um, 